Hello everyone, this is Amritpal Singh. Welcome to the next video of this SQL series. In this video, I'll be talking about self-join. So self, what it means, the self-join meaning is joining the table to itself. So you must be wondering what I'm saying. Yes, it's true. Uh, in the other type of joins, we used to have at least two tables, right, for joining. But in the case of self-join, we'll be having only one table. So how we can join? We can join by just, by just creating the illusion, okay, uh, to the Oracle, to the SQL that we got two tables. So how we can do that? We can do that with the help of the alias. We have to create two aliases so that we can create an illusion that we got two tables. So for this demonstration, I'm using a table called employee, which has got this data you can see in front of you, employee ID, employee name, manager ID. I want to print what? I want to print the employee name and their corresponding managers, okay? This I want to do it with the help of self join. One thing I want to say, there is no keyword like self. Like we used to have a left join keyword, right join keyword, uh, full join keyword, inner join keyword, but we don't have any keyword like self. It means I'll be using the regular join keyword for performing the self join. The only thing is I have to create the two aliases. Let's do it. I will be uh, printing two things, uh, employee name and their corresponding managers with the help of self join. Let's do it. Select, I'm selecting coming from the uh, two aliases, the two aliases will be E and M respectively, where E represent the employees, M represent the managers. So select E dot employee ID, sorry, employee name, okay, AS employee, okay, I'm using alias employee, and then M dot EMP name, this will be serving as my managers, as manager from okay it's coming from employee the very first alias i'll be using e then simple join keyword employee and the second alias i'm using is m okay then on clause the thing is the same it's the same syntax that we have used in the inner join left right full there's no change in the syntax as such on so here i'll be using i'll be giving condition that where the one tables employee id is equal to the other tables manager id where e dot manager id is equal to m dot employee id okay this is the condition so the so complete statement is select e dot employee name as employee comma m dot employee name as manager from employee e join employee m on e dot manager id equal to m dot employee id let's see what the result you can see, uh, first of all, before I run this statement, you can see the Virat doesn't have any manager, okay? So let's see it. If I'm running this query, I'll, I'll be getting two columns as expected. You can see the Steve, Kane, Joe, Gil has the manager, Joe, Joe, Virat, Virat, okay? So these are the, this is the example of the self-join. The only change uh, we got is that we got only one table, first of all, second, we have we are creating a two aliases of the same table just to create the illusion and third there is no keyword like self so we need to use the regular join keyword for performing the self join i hope you must have understood the concept of self join next video i'll be coming up with the new type of join thanks for watching guys see you next video